it's Kaylin here at Full Purpose and Heart. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing another update video of our homeschool journey and we are in, we just finished week 27, so we're beginning week 28. And so if you're interested in kind of hearing a couple of new things about what's been going on, stay tuned. So it's a little unusual that I'm doing a an update now. I sometimes wait several weeks, but I feel like a couple of things have changed and I wanted to throw in a quick update to kind of share a couple of things that have been changing in our homeschool life. So we have one kindergartner that we're homeschooling right now. It's our first year through. So I have chosen the Horizons curriculum as well as some other supplemental things here and there. If you're new to the channel and you didn't haven't watched any of my other videos, you might wanna go back and watch some of those as we've kind of progressed in our journey because I don't want to give a whole lot of backstory. Try to keep this video a little bit short for you all. So <clears throat> I'm still doing um, my clipboard system and it's working great for me so far. Um, I've kind of been trying out a couple of new ideas for this next coming year as first grade because I'm not sure this will work in first grade but as a kindergartner we just don't have that much work or that many subjects so it's been working really well for me. I did want to mention a couple of things about the curriculum that we've selected. So I've chosen the Horizons curriculum. This is a sample of the um, this is the phonics or the language or whatever they call it English page and then here is the math. And over the course of the year, I've just been super pleased with it for the most part. If you've watched my videos, you know that the English has kind of been an up and down. Um, but we're kind of experiencing something new these last, I'd say probably 10 lessons. We are on lesson 111, so I'm going to say it started about lesson 100, maybe maybe a little later. Anyway, somewhere in there, um, I noticed that the new material seemed to be coming in at a faster pace. For the first 100 lessons, I felt like it was pretty easy. We were just learning, you know, in the English side, we were just learning a bunch of new sounds and blends and that sort of thing. And um, it wasn't anything that was hard to understand for my son. It just kind of was like, oh, okay, CH makes CH or SH makes SH. Anyway, so that kind of thing, it was really easy. Well, just kind of like all of the sudden, I feel like we started learning a lot of things and they and they throw it all in at the same time. So we've been learning like plurals and they went from S to ES to IES, just boom, 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 right off the bat. And I was, I was kind of surprised because I felt like that was a bigger thing to understand is, you know, change the Y to I and add ES and... ES is a little bit different. I thought that they would just kind of like teach the concept of S for a while and then maybe review a couple of other things. I don't know. I was kind of surprised by it. And then on top of that, equivalently, the lesson 100 in the Horizons math curriculum, we started learning all kinds of new things all at the same time. And up until this point, I kind of felt like we had learned one new subject and then you know, kind of went back and did some of the other things that my son understood and were easier and, and concepts that we had done before and review and that sort of thing. And then they'd kind of come back, okay, well, here's another new topic. And now let's go back and talk about perimeters and let's go back and do some more addition and, you know, talk about before numbers before number afters. And then, oh, look at now we're back up here. So I felt like it was moving really great. But recently, I just felt like it was a new circle every day. And so we kind of started talking about subtraction and that surprised me because I was like, oh, we he doesn't really have addition just yet, but okay, like we could talk about takeaways. And so that was new. And then we immediately jumped into talking about counting by threes and then immediately started talking about halves and like half, half an hour and half of like shapes and things like that. And then we started talking about um, Oh, uh, volume. So like the quart and the liter and the cup and there was one other one. Anyway, and any, I just felt like it was a lot of work all at the same time. We're still going through and my son is, is picking it up surprisingly more than I had anticipated. Whenever a new subject comes in, I think as a teacher and as a mom, I'm just like, oh, am I ready to teach this? Do I know how to teach this? Do I have enough supplemental exercises and experiences to teach this? But He's doing fine. I just kind of, I was surprised by that. So if you choose to use the Horizon curriculum or you're watching my videos kind of as a preparation for your upcoming kindergarten year, just be aware that 
come about less than 100. It's just a lot of new stuff all at the same time. And it surprised me. I'm still happy with the curriculum. We're still using it. It is still on the list of possibilities for our first grade curriculum choices. I don't have any negatives, but just kind of as a like, be aware, I was surprised when Lesson 100 hit. Um, so anyway, that was that. Also, we have started doing, uh, this is unit number four of the curriculum made by Karen Jones. She does these Little Thinkers curriculum. And this is the one called My Community. Um, let me show you, that's the student book. Sorry, I got a little mess here. This is the Little Thinkers um, teacher's guide, okay? So uh, when you purchase it, it's a PDF file, and I, she, I, we have done the unit one. This is now unit number four. If you're curious about the unit number one, um, you can check my video. I did a review preview on it, so you can see kind of what you get and what I thought about it. This is now unit four. It's called My Community, and it is a little different. It's a little more... Um, teacher intensive. I don't know. The first one was too, but I, I feel like there's more preparation that I have to do on my end. Um, whereas the first unit that we did, I didn't really feel like I needed to prepare hardly at all. So, um, but I do like it so far and we're kind of trudging through this and it's, it's working well. You can kind of see on my back. Let's see if I can turn the camera a second. This is one of the, um, it's kind of far away. I apologize about that, but this is one of the, um, what does she call them? Anchor charts that she has. And it's just the inside circle says neighborhood and the outside circle says community. So anyway, um, that's what we're doing. It's going well. So we're just kind of trudging through that. In my last video, I talked about how I was trying to get my son to read a little bit more, um, read stories to me. I read to him a lot. We have a lot of read alouds in our family just as like fun activities or whatever we just read, but he has not been reading independently to me very much. So I wanted to try and get that better. And so I um, found these little printables on, it was like on a teacher's pay teacher's site. And um, I'll try and link that down in the description box below if you want these. But uh, Every day that he reads aloud to me, he reads one book, just an easy reader from the library, then he can color in a heart. And if he colors in all of the hearts by the end of the month, then I have a prize box that he can choose a prize from. So that's been successful. You can see we've got a couple of hearts um, colored in there. So he's been doing that as a part of his school day as well. Um, our school day still lasts about 60 to 90 minutes. Not very rarely is it more than an hour and a half. It usually is just one hour. And then if I do like some kind of craftivity or whatever, then it's an extra 30 minutes plus or minus some, but so it's been going really great. Um, we had Valentine's this last week. So I'll just show you. We, with my preschoolers, we made these little, like, the kids call them purses, but we just, like, glued um, hearts, and I had some, like, Valentine stickers on there. My baby's sitting right here, so he's trying to spin his way out of the seat I've got him in. Anyway, we just, and then we just glued some hearts on, and then we um, practiced some sewing, whatever, hand-eye coordination and um, motor skills. So, and then they colored it, and then they put their little Valentines inside. So, that was a really cute little thing that we did for Valentine's Day. We made Valentines and that sort of thing. Um, coming up, we're going to talk about, as a part of our social studies unit, talking about the community. Uh, we're going to be doing some activities that will go along with the curriculum. We're going to go to the post office and that sort of thing to check out our community. So anyway, the school year is going, still going really good and we got about 10 weeks left. So we're kind of rounding out the school year and um, looking forward to finishing up and hitting our summer months because summer, we got a big summer, fun summer plan. But anyway, I better sign off before the baby decides to start screaming. Um, if you liked my video, make sure you give me that thumbs up. You can subscribe if you're interested in homeschooling conversations. I have a lot of homeschooling videos that I like to post and I also do just kind of tidbits here and there. I'm working on my 2018 elevated project. So you'll see a, you know, peppering of some videos about goal setting and things that I'm doing to try and elevate my life and uh, different areas of my life. So if you're interested in those types of videos, then feel free to subscribe to my channel. We'll hope to see you back in another video.